Four dudes. One juju. Four bikes. One whole lot of male nudity. Let the throat singing begin. Here I am on a motorbike in Mongolia. Look at this. Look at this. Just <laughs> arrived at the airport. I was having a chat to a couple of girls from Ukraine. And then I just felt the sweet and gentle wetness of Ben's tongue on my ear. And here we are. And here we go. And then we were off. Out into the endless steppe of Mongolia. Or not. Four kilometers down. And we already had a fire. This is how we do in Mongolia. Is no problem. We fix motorcycle. So far, we have got on the bike, gone to the fuel station, gone back. We've gone to the fuel station, gone back, gone to a field somewhere. Come back. These are brand new bikes, and each time we have had slight little issues. They're breaking in. Exactly, we're not breaking them. Right. We're breaking them in. It's not breaking. There is absolutely no breaking. Breaking. <laughs> uh, it's 24 hours later, and as you can see, we are ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking giant eagles. Look at the size of him. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is jumping in the Wow. Well, that was unusual. That is fucking unusual. <laughs> And after about the time it takes to dry dangling meat, we were finally in off-road Mongolia. <laughs> it, like, just about took my head off. So yeah, you can probably tell. Here we were just fucking around in the forest and not actually going anywhere. In reality, we'd already set up our four epic Lone Rider moto tents and we're getting in a little bit of practice for what lied ahead. Once we were in the depths of it and Mongolia truly began, the days blurred one into another. The asphalt had long since vanished. We fully dissolved into light off the road, into daily routine guided by the sun, daily riding guided by the valleys. We got stuck. Stuck. A lot. Stuck. <laughs> like, a lot. I was sick of blue and orange. Sometimes we fell. And we fell. And we fell. That much. So, Matt. <laughs> Still wins crash of the day by default. <laughs> <laughs> we crossed endless rivers. Sometimes by bridge. Sometimes by ferry. Type thing. As soon as I thought I was getting the hang of it. Alright, I'm ready. Woo. Apparently, I wasn't. <laughs> Push, push, push. But even when things didn't exactly push, push, push. go right, push. at the end of the day, we would set up camp, and Mongolia was ours. <laughs> Definitely got me. <laughs> then, one morning, this. With I'm sure no word for fence in the Mongolian language, there was more than just cows we would be sharing this ride with. Uh, 
And even without all this, there was the locals. Okay, okay. The beautiful Mongolian people would pop up in the middle of nowhere and open up their yurts to us. They sang for us, shared how they lived with us. What is happening? Doing some intestinal stretching. Smells great. <laughs> And invited us for a taste of local life. Ooh, moo moo milk, which for some was delicious, and for Tristo was well. For us, this was life, not just life coasting by as we watched perceivably as a passenger from the window, hand pressed against the cold glass, barely feeling the frost, but life lived as the driver of our own destiny. Life chosen to be cold and wet and tired, to be afraid and unsure, and to still keep going. Because that which lies on the other side of perceived pain and discomfort is nothing short of magic. Yeah! This is fucking glorious. The endless laughs with friends, and the continued hospitality of strangers. The challenges and how we overcome them. The beauty when we look around in the midst of the madness, take it all in and realize we would change nothing. Because this is our life. This is our playground. This is our one chance to write the only story that really matters. Ours. Banana! Banana! <laughs> Banana!